How do you remove a user from a Seller Central account? My name is Stephen Pope and I'm the founder of my Amazon guy. This is a quick and easy one. You just come into your Seller Central account, put your cursor on the top right and hit settings. Put your cursor down on user permissions. That will pull up the screen. I have hidden some email addresses and names for privacy. Um, but all you got to do here, you'll see a full list of everybody who's on your account. And you just come in and, and the one that you want to remove, you just hit the delete button. This is instantaneous. They will not get any sort of notice, uh, but the next time they try and log in, their um, user will not associate to your account. So if that user is on multiple Amazon accounts, they will just stop seeing you in the merchant picker um, and they will not be able to access your account. Again, this is instantaneous. They do not get a notification. And there's probably a variety of reasons why you'd want to do this. Um, let's say you had a, an agency or a contractor that you're no longer going to work with. Maybe you got an employee you're letting go for various performance reasons. Um, whatever your reason um, is, you can do this very cleanly and quickly. Now, if you made the decision to share an admin login and you notice on this account right here where you don't see the delete button, you cannot remove the main user who created the Amazon account. So if you're in that situation and you've got somebody who's also sharing an admin login, I don't recommend you do that to begin with, but let's say you're watching this video and that's where you're at, uh, you're gonna wanna change the password and update the two-step uh, uh, mobile number uh, check. And to do that, you're gonna put your, your cursor over settings and go to login settings, and there you'll change your password and two-step login. Um, you will be prompted to hit the two-step when you go to change uh, some of that information and security. So if they're the ones that possess the two-step and you're the one trying to make the change, they're gonna know. Um, so just be cautious on that. This is why you should never share your admin login with anybody. Um, it should be only the owner of the account should have that and every other user you wanna have onto your account should be invited. And you do that with an add a new user here and you add them here and you can set their user permissions. Um, and you don't have to give uh, user permission access to them. You could set, you know, certain things you want to give people access to. For example, maybe you don't want them to have uh, access to uh, inventory planning, so you could ha hit none on that. Or, you know, if, if this is somebody who's going to be managing the account, maybe you need to have admin all the way down like this. Um, and then maybe you don't want them to have access to, say, I don't know, banking. And you'd come in here and select none on banking but they have access to everything else. Um, over time, Amazon will add new user permissions to this page. And so if, if there's a new section that comes out, maybe uh, you know they create Vine, for example, because that launched this year, you'll have to come in and, and enable that at a later point for them. So it is kind of annoying that certain user permissions have to be opted into at a later point. Uh, so just keep that in mind. And then if you were gonna set permissions, this is also instantaneous. You just hit the continue button and you're done. Um, so anytime you add a new user, same thing, gotta come set those user permissions. So hopefully that was helpful. If you need any Amazon consulting, just go over to myamazonguy.com and if you need a, you know, just a quick booking coaching call for an hour of time, you can do so by hitting the book a coaching call button. My calendar is right here. You can see my availability and lock in an appointment, usually same day in, in some instances. So hope you check us out. Um, we're a full service Amazon agency helping with everything from SEO and keywords to PPC and advertising and design all in house. Any questions about how to do something in Solar Central, leave a comment on this video. We'll be sure to answer it.